Hi everybody, so today's video is going to be a nail varnish collection. Um, yeah, it's taken me quite a bit to film, um, but hopefully it's going to come together. Fingers crossed you like it. And I'm just going to jump right into the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so this is the majority of my nail varnish, which I store in this clear acrylic holder. Um, which I think I got off of eBay or Amazon, so definitely check them out and you should be able to find something very similar. Um, so I'm going to talk you through what is on here and also I have some Essay over here. Um, and then over this side I've got a little bit more as well. So as you can see it's starting to overflow which is a bit of a problem. But yeah, I am just going to talk you through what I have. These are my Revlon nail polishes. I have the purple one which is Facets of Fuchsia. Um, it's gorgeous and then the red one which is 620 Bewitching and they're just both stunning colours and I love wearing them. The Inglot shades, uh, from left to right we have number 152, we've got 386 in the middle and 955 is the kind of deeper blue. Um, but yeah, they're gorgeous colours. That left one is phenomenal. It just looks amazing on the nails and always gets a lot of um, compliments actually. It's really, really pretty. Alright, so these are the three Opia eye nail varnishes that I own. Um, the pink one is nothing mousing about it. The middle one is I don't give a rot or damn. And the purple one is Dutch you just love OPI. Um, but yeah, that's the three that I own and I got them off of Fragrance Direct. They were $3.99 each, so a total bargain. Okay, so these ones here, on the left we have Rise and Shine. Um, on the middle we have got Amethyst. And on the right hand side that is Boom Boom. And these are the sinful colours which you can now get from um, Bigger Boots here in the UK. Um, I really really like these colours. I think they're so so pretty. It's just a shame that the nail varnish really really stains your nails. And to be honest it kind of puts me off wearing it. Um, I know they're really really cheap but I just think it's such a hassle taking the nail varnish off. And it completely stains your fingers as well and it's just a carry on. Um, but yeah, that's the three sinful colours ones that I own. Right, so I'm going to show you my Essie ones and I'm going to try and keep this as still as possible. So from left to right we have Bikini Sotini, we have La Piz of Luxury, No More Film, Splash of Grenadine, the pink one unfortunately I don't know the name of, we've got Saint Tropez, we've got Fiji, we have got Cute as a Button, oh sorry that's the one at the end, um, that orange one is Tarte Deco. But yeah that's all my Essie ones, I've got nine now so kind of starting to build a bit of a collection. Um, I really love No More Film, the navy one, I think it's gorgeous. I also love a Splash of Grenadine, it's had a lot of wear. Um, and as you can see Saint Tropez had a lot of wear as well so they're kind of my favourites out of them all. Um, but they definitely all get a lot of wear. Here, on the left hand side we've got the kind of pinky corally which is Rose Libertine by Rimmel. We've got Topshop ones here and basically it goes from Forget Me Not to Celestial to AWOL to Pool Party and to Gone Fishing. Got a couple of NYC ones here, um, Prospect Park Pink and then Lincoln Square Lavender. And then we've got a couple of H&M ones at the end. We have got Joe's in the House which is the glittery one and Blew My Mind which is the blue one which is actually quite similar to AWOL there. Up here I've got a couple more um, Topshop ones. We have got the, what's this called again? Hidden Treasure, we have got Glimmer, we've got a mini little Ciate one here um, which is just a kind of nude colour. And um, then I've got my Barry M one, so we have got the one that I'm wearing today actually which is stunning and it's just called um, MNP Vanilla, whatever that means. Then we've got Bright Pink, we've got Blueberry there, we have got Mint Green, we've got Peach Mail by Peeking Through, we've got Coral, we've got Mushroom and we've got Racing Green which is this end one and it's absolutely stunning. From this nail zinc one through to these kind of black topped ones here, they don't have any names. Um, this is just a nail zinc red. Then I have got a number 7 kind of bluey colour. These Ted Baker ones came in a set that I got one Christmas. This one is absolutely gorgeous. I love wearing that one. Um, and this is a really nice deep red as well. I wear that a lot in the winter. Um, this one's a kind of brighter red. It actually looks orange, but I kid you not, it's a red. Um, it's crazy how the camera brings that up. It looks more like the colour when it's sitting down. Um, and then this one here is just a kind of nudie mushroomy colour similar to that Barry M one. 
Then here I have got a couple of Leighton Denny, um, which are they are absolutely stunning. I love them, and I get them from Marks and Spencers with some discounts. So happy days. Um, this one is best seller. It's gorgeous, and then this one here is femme fatale and to be honest in terms of how long they last and just how easy they are to apply these are the best nail varnishes that I own so I'm definitely going to collect a couple more of them then I've got some Maybelline Forever Strong this one is lilac charm and this end one here is ceramic blue all right so that's it everyone thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video if you have any comments or questions just leave them down below um, and any video requests as well be sure to leave them down below um, but yeah I'll see you next time bye